Hey, and welcome back, everyone, to another episode of Inoculant Gaming. Once again, back doing the D&D stream with our normal crew of... Uh, miscreants? I want to say miscreants, but I, I wouldn't say that you guys are miscreants. It's more of a up-and-coming oh, heroes. <laughs> Wow, that was a longer one than normal. But anyway... Are you gargling at this point? I mean, at, I think it was a cross between a car running over a Chewbacca. <laughs> and so that's that's what you heard. I thought it was Chewbacca gargling. I mean, that would yeah. work too, but... Either one. So I propose we've got way too much in the party fund. I propose each of us, like, withdraw 10,000. Wow. What? We're gonna buy a whole bunch of items, though. Yeah. But I'm saying just split it up, and then each person ha can spend it however they see fit. I mean, one item, if we want to get that, which is probably I think it's place, we'll use up most of it. He's basically more or less saying so we have it on our person instead of in the party fund. Essentially. Because if somebody steals that bag. Oops. No one, no one's gonna steal the bag unless they kill me first. Um, you say that, but I've definitely had campaigns where the party fund gets stolen. Okay. I'm not saying it can't happen, but good luck killing me to take the bag off my body. All right. Have more. you met a good rogue? All right. I'm adding ten thousand. So subtract. Anyway, um, so recap of what happened last time. Well, uh, we. Docked our ship in a pirate port, uh, almost got into a big fight, ended up going down to the local tavern, talked about Davy Jones, sang and danced on the tables about Davy Jones, and um, I definitely made a fake bar stool and somebody just fell onto the floor. We had a little laugh. Uh, Elwyn was definitely dancing on the tables and trying to get everyone to sing a song about Davy, but they were really bad. They just did not know much. So... Kind of turns out, I think we were told that we'll need to steal something at sea in order to get his attention. And that should make him appear, but I don't know too much about that. I'll just have to take their word for it. At this point, we left the bar and we are heading to the market. Uh, we also just leveled up to level nine. Right. So uh, just to kind of inform the audience of what happened off stream, I did pre-give a list of items they could find in the town to the party so they could uh, figure out what they wanted uh, to be able to purchase to make it at least a little bit quicker for that. Yeah, so we don't spend the whole episode shopping. Right. The only items of note are the boots of Elven Kind and the Cloak of Displacement. I wouldn't uh, mind taking uh, the boots of Elven Kind <clears throat> so I don't have disadvantage on stealth anymore. Well... I'm pretty sure Andy claimed them. Well, if possible, uh, I would, li and I have the skill set to be kind of like a pseudo rogue, but we haven't necessarily had the need. Uh, Casey, it's not. Yes. Necessary. Do you wish to role play the shop and the selling and all that? Dude. Um, if you guys wish to barter the price down, yes. If you're going to take um, the price as it is, we're not. We're not. I'm, uh, if we're going to try and get a ro the displacement thing, we kind of need to. I think I can do that, but I'll just go ahead and pay full price for the plus one studded leather. Okay. Okay, I'll go ahead and buy that. Um, also, I will trade in my studded leather. Um, I'm not going to ask for anything for it. It's not worth anything. Um, uh, he'll still give you 10% of its normal value. It's, I think it's 50 gold, so 10 gold. Uh, or no, that's not 10%. Five, five gold. Five, five gold. Um, okay, I will buy that, and then I, I will also see if I can... Whew, um, we'll go to whoever has the Cloak of Displacement, and also I'm guessing it's the same person who has the Robe of uh, Patches. Correct. The robe of Useful Items. Yeah, that one, with 11 patches on it. That's that's fun. No, we yep. can't do both. 
Well, let's see what we can do. Okay. Uh, Elwyn, you're already wearing a like a legendary cloak, right? Yeah. You can't have another cloak on. Oh. I think you can have a cloak and a robe, right? Uh. Uh-huh. DM. I think you can have a cloak and a robe and or th- your armor piece. So can mine, be... mine's a robe. So yeah, you could still you, do a cloak on top of a so... robe, but. Um, is is anybody interested in the robe of useful items and or the cloak of displacement? I, mean, I kind of want one of them. But... I think we should definitely get the cloak of displacement. Uh, I'll go up to the shopkeeper selling them and say, uh, excuse me, uh, miss or sir. Uh, sir. And uh... Uh, sir. how much for these items here? Ooh, you chose some really good ones. Uh, I have fancy tastes. Uh, yeah, uh, that one, that one makes you look funny, and that one has, has funny patches all over it. Yes, uh, if I want to buy both of them, how much, uh, would it be? Um, doing the math... 60 plus... 40 is 100. Oh, 3580. So we're looking at 9580? What's 3580? It's 39. Oh, 39.4. Oh, okay. 39.4 plus 66. Okay. Right, so it's 106. Math! uh, 106, 500, but that would be like full price. Correct. If he even knows what these are. Yeah, if we do a combo purchase. Um, if you do both, because those are some of my best items, uh, I'll go down to 100. I'm going to ask the party if they would be okay if uh, maybe we would consider bartering a um, bottle of gold water instead. No. What do you think, party? We have like three of them, uh, right? That is Ed's, so you would need to discuss it with him. Yes, I have Ed. If everyone's super, no one's super? Huh? If you give him the gold water, he can make as much gold as he was, meaning gold will be... Um, gold will then... Be worth Decrease less. in value here in the in this world, yes. But we get these items out of it, so I mean, I don't know. What do you think? We could don't we have a bunch of money? One thing. No, well, do we? Not do we have a hundred thousand? Yeah, I mean that's no, a we lot. Don't have, we have seventy-six. Is well, that sep- after you subtracted? That was seventy-six no. before. We that was before everyone had ten thousand each, now. right? Yeah, well, I'm just saying we. Well, my propose, my proposition was ten thousand apiece, so we'd have like thirty thousand left in the fund, thirty six. Yeah, it would definitely not be enough for the two items, um, but. But I don't see how we've got enough for both items. Starting with seventy six plus whatever we have. I know I certainly don't have that much. No. No, we can make more gold if we want to blow it all. We could spend all the money and then we can make more gold. How much is this again? It'd be 100,000 like 100, for the two items. Because it's a rare and a uh, very highly rolled uncommon. Mm-hmm. Hi- yeah, a highly rolled uncommon. I don't know. What do, you, what do you guys think? You want to do it? Is it See worth spending harder. like a day here converting things to gold and selling them around town? Sure. We don't, we don't need to convert more things here. We can do that on the ship later or at some point. I think it's worthwhile, but I don't see how we have the option of doing it here. It just seems like unless we can find some secluded spot where we've got items to convert, all we're doing is asking for trouble. I mean, uh, is this also the person who has the silver horn of Valhalla and the boots of Elvenkind? 
Sure. Yeah. I will. Okay. I will make it all. Good. All under one person. Can we do all four of those items for? Um, how much money do we have? I mean, we could we could blow it all for all I care and make more. Seventy six thousand plus my two thousand. So that's seventy eight. How much do you guys have? Well, I took ten out, but I'm only spent. I have seventeen hundred platinum. It, okay. It, can we can we offer seventy five thousand for all of it, and then oh, tell them yeah, that try. you're you're not going to get another group coming through who wants to buy these items and has this much money. Go ahead and roll a persuasion check. Oh boy, do help? I get any help on it whatsoever? Yeah. Can no one help me? Sure. Yes. And uh, can I get guidance? Sure. Why not? Look, DM. Can I get? Yeah, me? You can get guidance. Let's let's do this. We, we so can... so with Elwin's okay. help, you get advantage, and Thomas getting you can give you guidance. A D four, right? Okay, one advantage, one. Yeah, he can't do both with his action, but it's two people. Okay, so I get a plus five on my persuasion, so I rolled a fifteen for a twenty, and an eleven. That doesn't. That's not going to matter. So it's a twenty plus four, twenty four. Ooh, nice. It's still a very he low, very heavy low, low ball, so I would be shocked if we accepted it. All right, he will do. It'd be a counter offer. Here's here's his counter. He would do the cloak of displacement, the boots of elven kind. Uh, what was the other thing? The horn and the robes. He would do the horn, but just take out the robes. For seventy-five. For the seventy-five. So the cloak, the horn, the boots, the boots, but not the robe of patches. Correct. Yes. I can and handle that. That's a very good deal. I think it's still a good deal. Um, I don't care about the horn or the boots. Can I have the I cloak? I would like the boots, and I'd be happy with the horn since Keith has the water elemental bowl. Well, just somebody who doesn't want to get hit uh, should have the cloak. I'm in good without it, so yeah, you can you can cast greater invisibility on yourself. Can I have the the, clo the cloak then? I haven't expressed interest in any of these items. Okay. I mean, how much would that for seventy five thousand? You said. For yeah, it was seventy five thousand. Okay, so we have sixteen gold in the party fund now. <laughs> sixteen. That's 16 all of it. Sixteen gold. Wait, and that but Keith, you never subtracted the ten thousand I took. No, he didn't. No, he didn't deduct any of the 10,000. I will subtract my 10,000 and just so put yeah, it back everyone in. Everyone who took 10,000 would, would need to unfortunately give it up if we're doing that. That's fine. Yeah, I don't I don't want it. I mean, I put it into my into my item, so that's I'm good. one thing. It's just going to be 16 gold in here now. All right, as long as Casey's okay with me also getting the uh, the <clears throat> armor in that same price, it's another 1700. Yeah, that was already yeah, I think that was included in the bundle. Yeah, that's what I was... Yeah. Uh, okay, we're good then. Okay. Uh, just a quick question. Uh-huh. We're actually paying more for the three items at full price. No, no, he, he technically Oof. threw in the studded leather as well. Okay. Although we... Is it, is it still basically the, full price? You paid for the studded leather already. It's and we 66 had left over. plus 2,000 for the studded leather, so 68, 2,000 for the, well, 3,000 for the boots. Uh, Six so that's for the horn. Mm -hmm. And then the, the horn robe is, is what, 3,000? No, the horn was 6,000. The horn is 6. Oh, okay. So, we, so, so that we puts it a few gold. thousand above. We're making yep. a little. Okay. okay. All right, I, I think we can deal only, with that and just not get the patches this time. That's really expensive for yep. what it is. But one other a, thing, a lot of patches. Casey, how many potions of them are there, or is it just the one potion that it says? Uh, I would say there's five of the regular potion of healings, and then two superior and one supreme. 
What about a greater? Because there are potion of greater healings on here too. Uh, uh, we can do five of greater. And I have enough money left to buy. How many potions of healing were there? Five. That's yeah. the lowest one. Five were regular, five greater, two superior, one supreme. All right. If I buy all five of your potions of healing, can I pay you 250 instead of 275? Sure. Since I'm buying them all. All right. Oh, we have plenty of healing, uh, potions. I have plenty of potions. I have six. <laughs> I have nothing. <laughs> well, I'd right. be the administering potions for you. All right. Shielding you out, right? So, anyone buying anything else? No. I think we're good. All right. So, all town business is generally closed now. Yes. Um. What do you do next? I mean, we did pay for a few nights at the end, so I'm going to go back and... No, we didn't pay for anything at the end. We paid for our boat to be docked. Oh, boat to be moored, right? But if that was only a couple of gold. We can just leave. Yep, we will leave. All right. So you prepare to set sail with your crew. And, uh... You start setting sail. Which way can, do you head out? Can we get our long rest and our level up at that point? Yes, your long rest happens now. Okay. And we are level nine. Hooray. Well, uh, so... Captain Corvus, which way do we go? Well, we've got to, at this point, attract the attention of a pirate. So we don't necessarily have a direction we need to go. So I propose we head forward Puerto Rico. Although I don't know what it's called at this point. Uh, uh, just San Juan. San Juan. Uh, and head in that general direction and potentially knock out Two birds with one stone. What's in Puerto Rico? Uh, there is a lead that I am following up on. There's rum. Yes, rum. I thought the rum was gone. Not, Not in, in Puerto Rico. Rico. Why is the rum always gone? I mean, we do have um, like 50 crew members, so they probably drink this, it all. At this point, during the long rest, may I uh, attune to my cloak of displacement? Yep. Awesome. Thank you. Can I attune to nothing? I mean, you put on the boots of Elvenkind, right? No, I, I did. Them. Oh, I okay. Did. Are those uh, attunement? No, those aren't. Okay. No, I knew those ones weren't. Um... <coughs> Let's do a random roll. I suppose we could take out any pirates along the way, too. Of course. I thought we were pretending to be pirates. Yeah, aren't we going to steal from any pirates along the way? We can pirate the pirates. Make the I like that. Safer. Yeah, somebody told me a story about a guy named Robin Hood at one point. The Robin Hood? Yeah, yeah Corvus brought it up last session, I think. Mm -hmm. Oh, yes, I remember that. Okay, after about two days of sailing, you, uh... Sailing? You start to see a ship. Uh, by the way, which way did you go? North, south, east, or west? Southeast. 
Towards San Juan? Juan. Yeah, towards San Juan. The direction of that place. I I don't know the Caribbean. I'm from Avatar. Okay, so you're heading east. You're heading east towards San Juan. Mm -hmm. And after two days, you do encounter a, uh, a ship that you seem to be gaining on. Oh, uh, can we tell what kind of ship or anything? Roll an investor uh, perception check. Perception. perception. Uh, as always, is Momo also oh, rolling I his got, perception? I got a natural 20, so 25. Okay. Uh, yes, you can see through Momo's eyes if you wish. 13. Okay. I did better than the big eyed monkey. He got two tens. Nat natural tens. Two of them. Corvus, what'd you get? Uh, I was something low. Attention. Okay, he rolled a nat one. Got it. All right. <laughs> really? Um, not a nat one, but a four. Oh, yeah. So, uh, Corvus was looking at the clouds and so trying, six, to, yeah. trying to make pictures out of the clouds. But okay, the nat 20. Uh, you're able to tell that it's it seems to resemble a pirate ship. Um, but it also seems to be um, it seems to be lower in the water than expected. Booty. It looks like to be a is it does it have a Jolly Roger on it? Uh, it does, but also it's full of holes. Uh, Corvison, is it natural for a ship to float with holes? The, not the ship or the flag? Uh, so, the, flag. Both. the fact that oh. it's lower in the water and it's full of holes indicates one of two things. Either one, that ship had a fight and got away barely or potentially it uh, won a fight and looted everything uh, looted the opposing ship uh, either way out of the yeah. goodness of our hearts I feel like it's almost our civic duty to investigate is it still moving because I mean it could also potentially run aground uh, it is moving, yes. Uh, Although, is it not a normal trade route, or not? Not. Okay. Should also, we, uh... also, it seems to be swaying back and forth uh, very unusually. <laughs> what is it headed east as well? Yes. Okay. Well, we're obviously going to be fat. Should we just play our Jolly Roger in case... <laughs> For whatever reason. We're flying the bloody butcher um, right now, aren't we? Yeah, yes, you are. Roger. Let's not yeah. fly the Jolly Roger. Okay. Crewman, put the flag down. Well, we have the bloody butcher up. Which yeah, is the, the that, bloody that is our Jolly Roger. It's not. It's, nobody recognizes it. Alright, you start to gain on the ship. Uh, I would say you are 200 feet away. Is uh, What are we doing? Are we full out flanking Wait, them? Uh, I, can, we try I can start lighting their first. sails on fire. Yes, but don't we want to try and communicate, find out what's going on first? Uh, you I would also, you also with your nat 20, I'm going to give you that as you've been gotten closer... Uh, you do not see any crew on this ship. It looks like the ship has been abandoned. I vote shooting the sails. Can I start? Um, if there's no one on board, I feel like we almost need to check first. We'll I'm have everything at the rail for a full-on barrage if people magically appear in existence. How does that sound? Wait, what? All I we'll heard is I can the shoot. Ship. We'll go up to the ship, go aboard, make sure there's no one actually on board. If there's not, then we can just loot everything, 
put it on our ship and leave. If we get on board and people just come out of nowhere, then you can but, fire all the cannons. The but, ship. but fire. We'll, yes, we'll let you set the fire to the ship. The issue is reason. if there's anything of use and we light it on fire, those items of use are the go down the with the ship. They're just the, the sails. Loop, but the sails are connected well, to the boat, and the boat is made of wood. We'll nice. catch up to it sooner. And as soon as we catch the ship, because the sails aren't blowing anymore, uh, Blue Where Man Group can just fart in its general direction, blowing enough wind to put the fire out. <laughs> That's not how it works. <laughs> it doesn't come out that side of me. <laughs> but it could if he wanted it to. I suppose. Um, Very good use of control wind. So Ed, are you attacking the sails? Uh, no, yeah. we're not. We're tra uh, I would like to. Uh, can we pull alongside and pull out the gangplank and see if we can? Uh, well, get we'll throw hooks. Land on. Ship. Well, we'll throw hooks and stuff to. Uh, well, ships. Ed. Ed did say he wanted to try to attack it, so I'm going to say at 100 feet, he goes ahead and attacks the sails. What are you attacking it with? Firebolt. Okay. Go ahead and roll the hit. I'm going to take some out to the garage. Okay. Uh, 20. 20 will Stop. hit. Stop. Uh, you do hit. light the sails on fire, except no it does not seem to slow the ship at all. Oh. So even with lighting the sails on fire, the ship does not even slow at all. What did my friends say about that? Uh, same thing. Now I'm curious. Uh, does it look... Can we, like... I would like to uh, hold on to a rope and jump overboard and see if I can see from underwater since I've got Mariner's armor and see if I can see if there's something pushing it from underground, underwater. Okay, so when you're so you're about 100 feet away, you're going to jump off your ship to swim? Well, no, <laughs> holding on to tied. Oh, hold tied to a, a rope, rope and hold. Okay. Um, go ahead and just tie yeah, around your waist. jump off the side of your boat and look underwater. Hopefully you're Here's my natural one. So three. Okay. That's amazing. Uh, you you jump off the side of the boat. The knot comes undone. Wait, was it really a net one? Yes. You hit your head uh, while diving off the edge of the boat and become unconscious and limp while still having the rope tied <laughs> around you. Does anybody see this? Yes. I will yeah, start pulling him in. Mariner's armor, I float to the surface. <laughs> so yeah, really? he's floating. Yes. You have a life jacket. <laughs> yes. I'm just Mariner's imagining his body bag dolling jacket. behind the ship. <laughs> it's just, he's just pulled. getting we'll pulled pull by up. the ship. And like, when a wave hits, he'll skip up and then come back yep. down and then come back up and float. I, I pull him hey, back in the boat. We can, in, we can invent the sport of wakeboarding. He's unconscious. He's not even standing on his feet. Yeah, hence we could stand on him. He's the board. I, I mean, do... you're probably the lightest person to do that, so if you want to go, for you just give it a go. I could if... fly and just pretend to be standing on can him. I, can I do a medicine check to uh, try and revive him? Yes. I have to, well, yeah, I'll if just you can, Did you pull him in? Can you touch him? I, I pulled him in. Yeah. 19. Yeah, nice. you were able to get him back awake. He, uh, I would say you did lose two hit points on the way down. Just, just slap him across the face. Now, while that was happening, did we pull up beside this other ship, and are we able to attach? Uh, the amount of time that took, you're 50 feet away. Okay. Is anybody interested in uh, getting a good jump on getting over there? I definitely am, but 
I was hoping to find out what was pushing it first. Um, well, I mean, you could always try again. Can we see anything, like, that might be pushing it? Yeah, we're 50 feet away. Uh, 50 feet away, go ahead and roll a perception check for looking underneath the water. I only got 16. Four. Okay. Um, you do see a giant fin underwater, uh, seemingly underneath the boat, going in the same direction. Guys, uh, do you see that uh, fin there? With Can I shoot 14, it? Should I? Would I be able to see that? Uh, with a fourteen, you'd be able to see that as well. Yes. Uh, Can I shoot it? Something there. What, uh, it's underneath the water. Can I shoot uh, it? Can we kind of get gauge like how big it would be? Uh, it looks yeah. huge. How? If it's another dragon turtle, guys, I'm out. I cast Eldritch Blast. Yes. Can we get a comparison of our ship versus the ship that lost to this monstrosity? Uh, well, I mean, the the ship covers about three quarters of the giant fish-like creature. Um, yes. What I want to know is, uh, how just is that kind of looking our at ship? how big that ship was with their armaments versus our ship's armaments. It looks pretty close to equal. Can I cast Eldritch Blast at that creature? You can, but would it travel through water? Yes, it's magic. Yeah, it's magic. I was okay. going to say, I'm pretty sure Firebolt still does. It just didn't, didn't Well, Firebolt does half damage underwater. Yes, and all fire spells. All right. Uh, yeah. Corvus, Corvus, son. But I have the magical feet thing for fire. Get, get ready to weigh anchor. Wouldn't that overcome resistances? Even once yeah, granted. Uh, well, I don't know right. if that's a resistance because it's it's the Underwater. property of the water. Okay, so I, I got a twenty. The water's not hit. granting the creature resistance. It usually does with fire. That's what we did earlier. The yeah, campaign. okay. I, I right. didn't have this feet earlier. Yeah, didn't I'll have let the it, feet earlier. I'll let it bypass the water then. Uh, I got a twenty-six to hit. Twenty-six hits. Okay. Did I we got roll a, initiative? No. Uh, no uh, we did not yet. Out, I guess. I got I got a one uh for damage, for force damage, but also five uh for my charisma, four more for thunder damage, so um five, four, nine, ten damage. But the creature will also be pushed ten feet away from me. So Ooh. theoretically it's not physically underneath the boat anymore. Uh, the boat not moves with it. Oh, I was trying to separate them. No, the boat it, moves with it. So if you're pushing the creature down, the boat starts no, sinking right. more into it. Out. out. Then the boat moves with it. Okay. Well, actually, it's probably down and out. Um, well, and then, then the I boat got a second. sinks a little bit. You, you choose the direction of it, don't you? No, it's away from me in a straight line. Oh. Um, oh. I got a 22 to hit. Okay, that hits. Okay, and that's going to be five more plus five is another ten force damage. And okay. it's going to move ten more feet away. So at this point, the deck of the ship is now almost at the water line. Okay. That was that was what I was I, don't I was trying to do that how, again. How big is the ship that's going to go underwater? How I big is this to... creature? Uh, it is huge. Is the creature part of the ship? Is it like in the ship? Can we tell any of that? Uh, the when the ship moves, the creature moves. Fair enough. All right. Uh, uh, hold on. Oh, Go into Elwyn for his attacks. I have a new idea. So you're not attacking? All right. I'll try my new idea next turn. Okay. So roll initiative. Is that, uh, initiative. Roll initiative. Right. What Yay. I was trying to do, guys, is to separate the two so the ship would stop moving so we could stop with it, but that didn't happen. Definitely it said he got us in combat with a huge monstrosity. Thanks. They didn't say monstrosity. They said huge. That's huge. That's monstrosity an important is distinction. <clears throat> yeah, but if it's fused with the ship hull, it's probably a monstrosity. Um, I'm definitely going last. Uh, initiative I is... I kind of uh, doubt that. 16. Yeah, 
let's give him a moment. Okay, I still need Corvuses is all I need left. Six. I didn't give you mine. Uh, it pulled it automatically in my encounter yeah, I built. If we roll, if we roll and reach one, roll, uh, and the and Beyond, it automatically puts it in. Well, that's roll awesome. Normal dice. You got to tell them. For all the folks at home, I rolled a five. Yeah, for those who didn't see, I rolled a two, so I am going last. I rolled a two, but I get plus one. I get plus okay. three. I got 13 plus three. I have uh, no decks. So when, um, when the ship went down, uh, you started to see... Andy? Um, Hold on. I, I gotta stop. Andy has become like someone who took a really bad invisible potion. <laughs> no, no, no. But, but he's doing his ghost hunter thing where he goes into the ethereal plane. Yes. He's just flickering in and out of existence. <laughs> right? I'll, I'll fix that. I, I think you either need to get rid of the background or change it. No, it's, he, he needs more light closer. on his face. I was going to say, he probably needs more light on his face. Is really all that will fix that. Uh, so as you saw the boat go down and kind of drop into the water, you actually saw or see a couple of... Um, Let's just say amphibious creatures come out of the ship from inside of it. Oh, boy. Oh, You said oh. some. Do we have a count on how many we see? Uh, well, so far you only see two. Uh, what are they wearing? Um, Jake from State Farm. Can I do some sort of check to see what kind of creature this is? Sure. Um, what? Nature, probably. Nature? I'll, nature will work. All May right. I also make that check? I'm asking questions about them. Sure. Um, I'm... Where is it? 12. I'm going to use my advantage thing. There it is, tight to chaos. I remind you, you have inspiration. So does Corvus. <laughs> Twenty-one. All right, so you were twenty-one. Sapphiris, what were you? Twelve. Twelve. Okay, I'm gonna say the twelve for you. It looks like a a creature of like story and legend. Like they seem to have a a fish's tail, but are still humanoid. That seems and, very on point with my my world. Mm. And looks and they look green. Okay, so it's a fish human. I got that. I can do that. Um, but Elwyn, you with your higher roll, you kind of um, have heard legends and tales of this, that it looks like it's a merfolk. It's a, mer a huge mof merfolk pushing a ship. No, no. Those are the creatures <laughs> that have come out of... Oh, I'm asking the about the creature in particular. Oh, the creature in particular. Okay. Uh, you see, it looks like a giant shark. Okay. Like, uh, much I, bigger than an actual giant shark in D&D. Uh, where are we in initiative, Casey? Uh, so you saw two of the merfolk come out, and... Uh, they have spears in their hands, and they are now swimming toward your ship. Oh, boy. Yeah, but who's up in initiative? Them or me uh, or it's what? They're, they're first. Now it's the virus. That was their turn? They that jumped was their in the turn. water and swam? They, okay. come, they came out of the ship and swam toward you. Can I see them in the water? Yes. I am... How fast is our boat moving in the, in the water? Uh, it's catching up to the giant shark ship. I would say you're about 10 feet <clears throat> away. Oh, so they're like, nice. they're getting really close to your ship as it is from swimming. I'm going to go get my uh, gallon pickle jar. Open up the lid. Pull out my tarantula. 
Okay. Turn it into a giant tarantula. Okay. And uh, have him go over to the side of the ship towards where they're coming. Okay, so how big is the giant tarantula in general? Size large, I think. Okay, yep. we're saying about probably what? Eight foot ten across? Ten by ten. Oh, ten yeah, by ten? Yeah, eight feet okay. across. No, ten by ten would be the space it it controls. So it right. can be seven, eight feet. Yeah. Yeah. So there's now a giant fur ball of a spider on the bow of the boat. Kind okay. of peering the, over the edge. So their ship's in front of ours still. We're 30 feet away from them. Giant ten feet spider away. on the front. We're only 10 feet away. Okay. 10 feet away. We might want to slow coming. down before we hit them. Um, that would be my action. My bonus action. Again, how fast are we flying? I'm sorry, I didn't get that. Uh, I'm sorry. I would sailing, sailing, uh, whatever your max speed is. Uh, is it thirty-five <laughs> miles per hour? I wanted to say uh, it was forty, but I'm not sure. Yeah, forty. We'll go forty feet, then. Forty feet, feet per round is what you're saying, not miles. That's what per I hour. meant. Yeah, that's what I meant. Feet okay. per round. I will use my. It's, it's forty. I can't keep up with that, so I'm not going to fly. If I can tell that I can't fly that fast, um, I'll walk over to the front of the ship as well and. Waste my bonus action. It's fine. I'll, okay. I'll be behind the spider for sure, though. Okay. Oh, bone. Uh, uh, Momo is going to fly down from the crow's nest and fly f forward towards the uh, front of the ship. Actually, he can he fly that fast? Shoot, can he keep up with the ship? Yeah, he flies at sixty feet per round, so he can keep up. Okay. Why? That's weird that it did that. Oh, that's why. Uh. Yeah, I'm just going to replace that. Okay, sorry. One of my things I... I need to go back. Okay. I didn't realize I didn't have some of these creatures that I chose. And so I have to do this the harder way. Okay. So this one. Another one creature is going to come out. And uh, it's going to swim toward the ship and actually start climbing the front of the ship. It will probably only make it about five feet up of the climb. Onto our ship? Onto the front of the ship. Although, seeing the spider makes it not move as fast. <laughs> then... Uh, you end up seeing... Seven more creatures come out from the boat and all swim to all to both the front and the side of your boat. So how many total? Right now you see one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Oh boy. And it's now Corvus's turn. Oh boy indeed. Because that was initiatives fourteen through seven. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so uh, I will issue a couple of orders. Uh, one, I will uh, try and have someone take the wheel and pull a little bit away from the other ship. Just to give us a little distance, uh, I will also uh, order people to man the ballista I believe we have. Yes. Okay. Uh, do I still have anything else? Like, what does that take? Uh, orders and speech, I will say, can happen quickly. Um, I would say you still have half your movement and an action, but that speech will take your bonus action. Okay. Uh, so then, since I do not have time to, uh, use my bonus action to cut myself, I will just, uh, take some pot shots at the, uh, one climbing onto the ship. 
Okay. Go ahead. Uh, so 20 and 28 to head. Both of those hit. Eleven points of damage between the two. Okay. A and that's my turn. All right. Next is Elwin. So you said it's a huge creature, right? Correct. I want to use my telekinesis to lift the giant shark out of the water. Can you? It says I can move a huge or smaller creature. Oh dang! How it's a level five spell. Okay. Oh, this isn't your bonus action shove. Shove? No, this is telekinesis. No. This is, this Te is the a fifth level spell. spell. Yeah. Telekinesis. Let's go. Uh, you got this. Lift the shark. Uh, what save does it have against it? So it makes a strength check. Check, not saving. So not throw. a save, just a check. Correct. Interesting. Against your strength or against my uh, spell I'll attack. Save DC. Uh, uh, he... No, it's an opposed. I do my spell casting ability. Okay. Uh, you do a, a spell attack roll. Is there a yeah. limit to how much you can lift? By the way, huge or less. Um, it puts a limit if I'm lifting an object. It puts a size limit if I'm lifting a creature. You now, if that. If that creature is encumbered, that doesn't matter. It doesn't Not according sense. to the spell. Like, if I uh, levitate you... Though, if I levitate you... Though, because if that's a ship on his back, you're lifting both an object and a creature. Well. Is it uh, attached, or is it grappling it, or is it just pushing it? We don't know. We'll find out. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's... Uh, right. I can let you know this fin is actually at, through the bottom of the ship. So it would be considered attached. Uh, but go I guess I'm rotating the sharks like <laughs> to the side until the fin comes out. <laughs> if, if I succeed, I still got to roll. Yeah, by the way, I rolled well, just to let you know. 18. Right, what about you? Is that with everything? Uh, yes. Uh, yeah, I rolled a 25. Ooh! He's a strong right. boy. Because my, my roll on the dice was 19. I can try again next turn. I get it for 10 minutes. Oh, okay. <laughs> All right. On a failure, you get a bonus keep action. your concentration? Huh? On a failure, you keep your concentration? Mm-hmm. Nice. Okay. Uh, you I don't end know up... that spell. Yeah, I have access to the telekinesis abilities for 10 minutes as long as I keep concentration. Uh, next. So. Wait, I do have a bonus action. I'm trying to decide if I want to do anything with it. Okay. Um. You can telekinetically shove one of the fish people on our ship. Oh, yeah. Can I. Is anyone close enough for me to shove them in the water? Uh, there's only one that's started climbing the ship so far. Okay, can okay, I push them off? Uh, give it a shot. All right. He makes a strength save. Uh, does a 21 save? Yeah. Ooh. All right. That's it. Is he on our ship or just like still climbing up? He's still climbing. He hasn't made it to the top yet. Okay. Uh, now it's Thomas. Actually, no. Sorry. The shark, having felt that, is actually going to slow down a little bit. And isn't... Like, he's not going in a straight line anymore. He has kind of noticed that all of his passengers have come off. And so he is now trying to turn and, like, circle your ship. So he doesn't... He doesn't make that he ends up turning kind of in front of your ship and is going to try to, like, encircle the ship. Just keep rotating around your ship. Okay. 
fun. Uh, but yeah, now it's Thomas' turn. Um, can the sh how far away is the shark person? Big shark dude? Uh, it's basically 10 feet away underneath the water. So give it Pythagorean Theorem, like 15 to 20 feet away from like the front of the ship. Throw? What? Can it make a wisdom saving throw? <sighs> sure. You guys might be... I can use the shark as a weapon. You guys might be better off actually fighting the Murphy people. Oh, they're not here yet. I'll definitely be fighting the Murphy when they're here. Uh, um, he got a 13. Dang it, that just saves. Okay. Back up to the beginning, unless that's the end of your turn. Oh! I can't, I can't do anything else. I forgot about wild magic. Can I still roll for that? Yeah, go ahead. Twenty-one. Creatures had disadvantage in saving throws against the next spell I cast in the next minute that involves oh, saving throw. Neat. Does that count towards a spell I've already cast? No. Well, I mean, you're still concentrating on the spell and the, the effect. This is contested count. anyway, so it doesn't affect spell save. Yeah. Oh, you're right. Right. True. All right. All right, uh, back to their turn. You get uh, two Two of the creatures are on the top of the ship next to the spider. So I will also spend my movement to get up near the, where they're boarding. Okay. Uh, when do the crew members on our ship have a turn? Um... After all of them. I forgot to add them in here. Are they still manning the ship, or are they helping us, or what? Uh, we I ordered them to do stuff during my turn, so it would be after my initiative at some point. I figured initiative one would work, personally. Oh, That's okay. That'll We'll do it that way. Um, so one's on the ballista, right? Mm -hmm. Did you have them target the shark or the merfolk? I didn't give him any specific target. I'm assuming he would go for the shark, but who knows? Uh, no, Not he thinks... the spider. <laughs> He's probably just a straight up attacking the other ship. Uh, it's I'll have him attack the spider, or not the spider, the shark. Um, no, no, don't shoot the spider. That's our friend. <laughs> I brought Shelob into the battle, oh, and your teammates here. taking him out. <laughs> Of course you would name your spider she loved. All right. I mean, it fits. It, it was, the ballista was able to hit the shark with disadvantage. Uh, nice. It takes three turns to fire a ballista. Oh, well, I'm going to say they were ready for fire. it. Then, okay. and so this is the first turn that'll count, and it'll take two turns to reload. Okay. Uh, so, yeah, two, two of the... Creatures come on board and they try to attack the spider. What's the AC for the spider? I sent you this stat block on it. It's um, a 14. Oh, uh, that's a 17. Uh, oh, no. How close is. Yeah, sorry. 17 hits it. It has 26 hit points. Nope. I'm oh, sorry. I was on the wrong stat block. No, they miss. Because I was still on the giant shark stat block, which that's a lot more okay. powerful. Yeah, so that's true. They right. only got a 10, so they're going to miss. And that puts it to Zephyrus' turn. All right. Um, can the giant spider take its turn first? It says it goes on my turn, and you control its actions. Okay. So does Momo, though. Right. Um... Alright, so it does it. It is going to... Yeah, it's going to start out with biting the ones that were right next to it. Okay. So... Um, 
I was trying to command it to web, but you know. Uh, well, there's not enough creatures on there up there to web just yet. It hits one creature. Oh, it is just one creature. Yeah, web is just one creature. Never mind then, it will web to start with. Web the shark. It will Plus not five web to the hit shark. on your attack roll. So it is going to hit. Um, okay, they are restrained by webbing. And now that they are restrained, I'm going to attack them with Eldritch Blast. Okay. Uh, does a restrained creature have disadvantage, or is that just no movement? I think it's just no movement, right? No movement. Yeah, it's no movement. Uh, uh, but attack rolls against the creature do have advantage. They have advantage. Okay, so here's my first Eldritch Blast. Um, oh, that's pathetic. Um, 17. 17 will hit. Uh, that does a full 10 force damage, plus 5, plus 4. So, 19. 19. Well, I mean, it'll be 15 force and 4 uh, thunder. Okay. Uh, um. th that restrained creature will now fly off the side of the ship and fall into the water with webs. Uh, to be left behind the ship. Because he can't move. I, uh, can I okay. do something more flavorful for than that? Have fun, yeah. So I'm going to have him fly off of the edge of the ship. The web will go around its neck and causing him to basically hang himself while skipping on the top of the water with how fast the ship is going. Dead or just not not. Not oh, totally, situation. totally dead. Dead. Very dead. Okay. Did um, that game I have... get to you earlier, Casey? Because that was a little gruesome. I mean, it might have <laughs> slightly, yes. But also just the webbing and the blowing off the ship, just a noose just sounded fun. Okay, or that's like, rough, he, but you he know. He the side of the, side of the enemy ship, just like, no. stuck there from the web. I have, a, I have a second all church blast. I should be able to shoot another one, right? Yep. Yes, you can change your target. Right. Here we go. You only have two or you have three? I have two at this level. I'll get three next level. Um, 19 to hit. That hits. Uh, seven. Uh, 12 force damage. He also flies off the ship, but he wasn't in, trapped in the web, so he just goes into the water. Curse bloosh. Um, did, like, <laughs> did I see him dead or just... <laughs> Oh no! Oh point. no! He's he's also dead. Okay. They don't seem very strong. <laughs> these yeah, were the no, these were the scouts. Take care of these guys. These oh. were the scouts. These are the ones that are quick, but not very powerful. Gotcha. Alrighty. Yeah, that'd be uh, my turn. Momo's gonna fly further forward and see if maybe next turn he can give us a help action. Okay. Uh, next, the one that is climbing the ship. Finishes climbing the ship, and okay, he is going to get to the top of the ship, or to the to the edge of the ship, uh, see the spider, and. Uh, Casts a spell at it. So go ahead and make a dexterity saving throw for the spider. You want me to roll it for the spider? Yeah, please. Okay, its dex save should be the same as its dexterity modifier. Uh, I don't see any other bonuses for dexterity. No. It rolls 14. Okay. It's not terrible. So it does save, so it takes oh, yeah. half damage. It's not proficient in deck saves, is it? No. It takes how much damage? 
Hold on. You want me to keep track of that for you? Uh, it's gonna take thirteen. Okay, that'll be half. Well, no, so that was already halved. No, I'm saying that's half of its total hit points. Oh yeah, it has twenty six. So. Okay, and then I'm gonna say the other. Uh, the other seven, uh, merfolk and lizard-like creatures jump onto the ship, and, uh, they are also going to, uh, so, Thomas, you're right next to the spider too, right? Yeah, I said I'd be, I moved up right where they're boarding the ship. Alright, I'm gonna have four surround you, and another three end up kind of surrounding part of the spider. This is going to be fun next turn. <laughs> so, does a... Uh, oh, I can look. Nope, if that misses... it's not 21, it doesn't hit me. I'm doing the spider first. Oh. That one's going to hit. <laughs> uh, three more damage on that spider. Got it. Down uh, to ten. Uh, correct. And now for the ones against um, Thomas. Uh, okay, and... Man. Uh. Okay, so that... Uh, does a 21 hit, Thomas? A tw 21 is my AC, so yes, that will okay. hit. Okay. Okay, so two hits. One is a critical. Uh, so five damage for the first one. Five damage is a critical. No, that was the non-critical. 12 damage oh. is the critical for the next one. So 17 total? Yeah. Okay. And um, on the critical, go ahead and make a constitution saving throw. Eleven. Okay. Um, you are actually paralyzed until your next turn. The end. Oh, sorry. The end of its next turn. So, yeah, you get one round of being paralyzed. Bow, 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 All bow, right, bow, Corvus. Just a question. So if this guy dies and never gets another turn, does that mean Thomas is just paralyzed indefinitely? No. His turn still comes up in the order. It just I, I wouldn't be that mean. <laughs> uh, so this time, now that I actually can do stuff, uh, I will uh, rub my hand against the crossbow, taking... You didn't do that last turn? I use my bonus action giving orders. Oh. Unless you'd rather not have a ballista firing. You be you, man. Uh, so You are a ballista firing. Uh, so <laughs> th three points of damage to myself. Okay. And then I will take uh, some crossbow shots. Yeah, you're a ballista except for 
three turns for one shot, you're three shots for one turn. Yeah, uh, but I only get two this turn. Uh, so 23, well, sorry, 24 and 28. To who? Uh, I'll hit the little people that are on the, that the are in the water. The one that paralyzed me. Going yeah, on the spider fine. or the one that paralyzed uh, yeah, Thomas? Yeah, we'll go for the one paralyzing people. Okay. Thirteen damage from the first hit. Okay. Uh, ten from the second. Uh, how do you want to do it for that one? Uh, so I would like him to uh, kind of. I'm assuming I'm behind. I'm looking at his back. So right. I'll like uh shoot my crossbow and uh, have the bolts stick him into a paralyzed Keith's breastplate. <laughs> so you're having him a you're shooting him to attach him to Thomas's breastplate? Not very not very hard, just enough to be fun. Okay. Yeah. So Thomas is standing there and this creature flops down and like the arrows slide right to the sides into like your belt. And hold the creature, like, half slumped into your chest. But you can't Does do anything about it. Up? Does my AC go up by one now? Since I have an extra protection? Since you have a meat shield in the front? It would, except you're paralyzed. So then it doesn't. So you don't get dexterity benefit anyways. But if the creature that paralyzed me is dead, I'm no longer paralyzed. <laughs> nope, sure. it still lasts because it's poison. Until the your start of its turn. Oh. So it's it poisoned you, and that's why you're paralyzed. Uh, I'm going to reach for him. Is that the uh, end of your turn, Corvus? Yes, it is. All right, Elwin. Oh, I was just going to ask who that is. Hmm? Hey, Keithy, how's married life? Oh, my goodness. <laughs> it's fantastic. Who says it's fantastic? <laughs> oh, uh, I didn't see his mouth matching up with his voice. That's because you're watching the wrong screen. This one's the live oh. one. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Whatever. Okay. <laughs> All right, and it's Elwin's turn. All right. Uh, pleasant trees are side. I would like to know if anyone was watching. I'm pretty sure no one was paying attention to anything else happening besides my daughter playing with my curtains. <laughs> I did notice that. I was totally watching that. <laughs> Touche. It was cute. Touche. Um. Right. Um, let's let's play with the shark some more. Okay. Twenty-eight. Ooh, sorry, Ooh. advantage. Still a twenty-eight. All right. Oof. Uh, this is a pose check, right? For strength. Yep. Yep. Uh, you succeed because he got a nat one. Wait. All right. So. If I realize he's not coming up, can I just yank him down and then up? Uh, well, I would say because you're pulling him up, like, it does rotate the ship just a little bit. Um, but so it doesn't come up real quick, but if you do want to try to yank down, up, and over, how much can you move him? 30 feet. Okay. Yeah, if you want to move him down, probably like six. I mean, between four yep. and six feet for his fin. If you if you move his fin out of the ship, the ship's gonna go sinking because yep. he's keeping it afloat. Okay, so you pull the shark down. Uh, the ship kind of helps follow with it because I mean it has some buoyancy, but not all that much. But if you pull it down quick enough, yeah, his fin will come out, and then you move it to the side. Yeah, and then up. Okay. So my goal, it. I want to hold him over the heads, five feet over the heads of the uh, merfolk on that the other deck, so that when it gets its turn, I'm hoping its negative five intelligence will be like, oh, nom nom nom. <laughs> <laughs> 
Okay. And, la and lashed out, even religion? though it's being held by telekinesis. Um. Or at the very least, scare them like crazy with, you know, a giant shark being held over their heads. We do make that opposed check every turn, by the way. Hold on. I... I gotta look at something. Okay. Also. Um. All right. So you're holding it up above the mur the sw the swimming creatures' heads that are all climbing the ship. Um. Uh, I do de technically still get a bonus action. Okay. Go ahead. Hold on. I'm trying to remember one of my quicken. So yeah, I can do that. I will quicken a spell, since I haven't cast a spell this turn. Okay. I need to find my... There they are. Gotta subtract my sorcery points. Um... Does... How many... How many enemies can I hit if I hit one of the merfolk underneath the shark with a fireball? Well, all of them have climbed up to the ship at this point. So they're Are all they? Yeah, they're there... surround they have surrounded yeah, the spider and they've ship. surrounded Keith. There's none left on the other ship? No. I don't know that I want to risk holding that shark um over over our, our, th ship. our ship. Yeah. Cuz it could still break free. I thought they were still a couple on the other ship. No, it was it was generally all of them had left the ship, and they were they had now climbed up and on. But you still holding it over the water does have an unintended effect. Okay. I mean, I still cast the spell. I just will cast a different one. Um, because I don't want to light our ship on fire. <laughs> right. That that would be bad. Uh, I'll just use Chaos Bolt. Well, okay. yeah, that's fine. Casey, was the thing that paralyzed me a magical effect? Oh, wait. Oh, no. I don't... I don't have my advantage back yet. Uh, I would say no. No, I don't, because... I technically haven't cast a spell to trigger the wild magic. Right. I just rolled a nat 20. Oh, nat 20 to hit? Okay. So who are you aiming at? Uh, one of the... Well, you know what? I'll shoot the shark. Okay. Um, so that would be... 10 plus 2, of course. Wait. Ah! Hold on. All those ones are twos. Now, uh, it was called inject toxin, Thomas, by the way. So it injected a toxin so into 11, you. 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. So that would be 15. Um, so it's not a spell or a magical effect? Uh, no, it'd be a physical toxin. All right, here's a question. With crit damage, the way Chaos Bolt is phrased, if I roll the same number on both D8s, but I'm doubling the number of dice, so I did roll two twos, does that count as a double? I would count that as a double. All right, so 15, uh, we'll say cold damage. Okay. And then 
and then wild magic. Or no, this is technically the same spell. Right. So then it bounces and it will hit one of attack one of the merfolk underneath the near. I don't care. Okay. 20. Uh, 20 hit. 20 will hit, yes. So it's going to be 13 uh, lightning damage. Then wild magic would trigger. Okay. Uh. Uh oh. So, hopefully, our ship can take this. My size increases by one size category for the next minute. No, you're fine. I just yeah, ain't you're fine. You're just an extra giant spider. Oh no, you're just a a large you. <laughs> okay. Hey, you're large. Your physical attacks do extra damage now. Hooray. Do they? Does he does does he do physical attacks? No, no. he does negative damage. Oh um, yeah. Uh one size larger, you do do more for physical damage. So the shark on his turn uh the, the way that telekinesis works is you're, like, held on all sides, right? Um. Hold on. Because, like, he's going to try to... so. He's going to try to, like, flop like a fish. Because he Move. is a fish. Until the fish end of my happen. next turn, the creature is restrained. Okay. It is suspended in midair. Okay, um... How... So where are you holding him exactly? Uh, off to the side of the ship, near any merfolk. Okay, so just off to the side, uh, not near the ship at all, like 10, 15, 20 feet away? Well, I mean, it's close... To the merfolk attacking as I can get if there's any by the edge of the boat. Okay. Then we'll we'll have I just want to hold it over the boat in case it gets away. Right, which makes sense. Um We'll have it go to the front. Front of the boat, it tries to squirm um while holding its breath. And, uh, yeah, it is, it'll try to move an attack, but I feel like with telekinesis, it's not going to be able to get like its normal lunge that it normally would get in the water. Mm -hmm. Um, so I will have it try to attack the lizard folk, but it will not get its bonus. So that'll be a miss. And then, Thomas, this is the turn where you're paralyzed. And it's mm -hmm. back to the ballista, which they reload. Uh, it's now back to Sapphiris. Um, there's a bunch of fish mer creatures. Uh, are they next to me? You said they're surrounding the spider. but They're around they... the spider, yes. They're not adjacent to me. I'm still standing back from that a little. Uh, I would say one is next to you, but the rest are not. But they're still the more focused. Work? They're still more it, focused do, on the spider. You would if, get advantage if you did a melee attack. Uh, I don't know about advantage? spell. You would get advantage with a melee attack, yes. Um... Well, first of all, my spider's going to try to recharge its web, and it rolls a five, so it does. Okay. It's going to try to web... Well, you tell it what it's going to do, because the DM controls it. Uh, I'll have him attack the one by the front of the ship. 
sure. So, is it still at ten hit points? Yes. Okay. So that will that will hit, and the one in the front is webbed. So. Okay. Um, you know, I was considering Eldritch Blasting, and I pre-rolled, and it's really good numbers. But at this point, I think this is too much fun to avoid, so I'm going to scrap these rolls. And I'm going to cast Phantasmal Killer on the shark. Okay. Oh, so I, terrible. I imagine this shark is going to see a whaling ship come in out of nowhere with its harpoons aimed right at the shark, ready to shoot. Roll a saving throw, wisdom saving throw. Or an even bigger shark coming to eat it. Or that, yeah. I mean, every shark thinks it's the top dog, right? This is you, the so you said shark. a wisdom saving throw? It'll be a wisdom saving throw. It sees this thing come at it, and it's scared. Can it save its... Uh, it rolled an 11. That's not going to pass. It's a 17. Okay. So it now, it now believes that this thing is real. Okay. And <laughs> it will be frightened. Um, also, it's time for me to roll some damage. This is a 5th level spell because I upcast everything. You know, warlocks are what they are. I'm just going to roll in D&D Beyond because uh, that's easier. 21. That's kind of a low roll. <clears throat> okay. And that would be psychic damage? Yep, psychic. Yes. It'll okay. be 21 psychic damage to the shark. Alright. It takes that and damage. It... If it breaks out of its grapple, it's frightened and can't move toward us. Uh, or, well, we can't move towards the thing that it sees, right? Right. Yeah. So because it was coming, if you're going east, it would be coming from the north moving south. So it is afraid of the ship that just moved north through south. Oh, I'm sorry. It's not supposed to take that psychic damage until the end of each of its turns after the wisdom saving throw. It's supposed to make that saving throw on its turn, not on my turn. Oh, oh, okay. Remind me when it's his turn, which is after Elwyn. Sorry, it'll take its, it'll take its damage then. We okay. pre-rolled it, but... Uh, I'm going to misty step back 30 feet uh, on the ship. I don't okay. want to stand next to these creatures. Okay. Well, maybe not 30 feet. Where's Keith standing? Uh, Thomas. Keith is being Spidey surrounded spider. right next to your spider. Is he next to me then? No, he was... So, think of spider here, Keith here... You were by the thumb over here. Okay, I'm going to misty step behind Thomas. Okay, there is a so creature be right within, behind him. Okay, put me 15 feet behind him then. Okay. That's so within you, my 30-foot misty step range, right? Oh, shoot, that's another spell. I can't do the spell, sorry. Um, I'm just going to stay where I am then. Okay. I can't do two spell in, in right. one roll, in one turn. Sorry, I'm used to using Eldritch Blast with Misty Step. I can do that. I can't do Phantasmal Killer. My bad. Right. Okay. Uh, this is going to attack the spider. Okay. It, uh, it was able to recharge that spell. So it is going to make that spell on the spider. The spider gets a saving throw. Gets plus three. Uh, and advantage. Oh, the advantage is going to need it. Okay, it's saved. So it's only half damage, which makes it... What's the advantage from? Holy Avenger. My long, my sword. Yeah, okay. Uh, it you still takes to... 10 damage. Which I think is enough to kill the spider. Corvus, we cannot I, see your face. I forgot that you were doing the one doing the saving throw there. I was ready to roll Casey. Oh, sorry. I kind of did it. If you want to roll for it, you can. That's fine. It's up to you. 
I mean, it's, it already saved. It doesn't but matter. Even it with took it half damage. Dies. Yeah. Right. Okay, so the spider's dead. Spider does go away, but it did help kill three of them. Yeah. And it single-handedly made this uh, stream PG-13. <laughs> Touche. <laughs> yeah. Um, so the other ones that were attacking the spider are now going to go for Sapphiris. I mean, half of our worlds are PG-13 anyway. Mine isn't. No, yours is not. Mine is TVY7. Okay. They're attacking me? They are. It'll Although, be at a disadvantage. Oh, that's right. Well, it doesn't matter. He rolled a one. Okay, that'll be a bad. Uh, yeah, I don't think you can get lower than a one. Uh, yeah, but I have fancy cloak now. You do have fancy cloak. So, for the one, it rolled a 14. So, it tried to swing a spear at you and stabbed its toe with the, sp the spear. Can um, it be, like, grappled to the deck of the ship now? It doesn't have a toe. No, it okay. does. He's uh, he said it was a mer creature. It's not mer, is it? Well, no, it is a mer creature, but they're they do they're humanoid still. They have In D and D, mer folk do not have have fish tails. They've got feet. Okay. In your world, they do though. So. Yeah, uh, I'm uh, fine. Whatever. It's, it does his tail. I, it's, sure. It's fine. It's fine. Um, okay, that was that one. Okay, does an 18 hit? Me? No, uh, Zephyrus. Oh. Is that at disadvantage? Yes, otherwise it got yes, a nat it. it got a nat 20 otherwise. Oh yeah, it, that, that hits. So that's going to be seven damage. Seven. Got it. And You're that no one's... longer concentrating on anything, are you? I can do a constitution saving throw for my phantasmal killer. Okay. Right. You are not what? within ten feet of me, are you? I went ten feet behind you, didn't I? Or did I go fifteen feet behind no, you? No, you didn't. You didn't misty step because you couldn't. So you oh, stayed where you no. were. Right. How far away am I adjacent to him? Because the spider's here, we're here, he's here. I would say I you're fifteen feet. Fifteen feet is outside of your range, Keith. All right. So I have no help on this. It's just my constitution. No. Yeah. I got a twelve. That's over ten. All right. So then these ones are attacking Keith. Um, Keith, you are considered, what was it? Res the, you are paralyzed. So what does the paralyzed condition do, to, do again? Uh, this one skips a turn. turn. Who's just, paralyzed? Oh, okay. Yeah. This ju just skips a turn. All right, in that case, um, so a nine's going to miss. Yeah. Uh, Seventeen's going to miss. All right. Uh, this one's a nat 20. Oh, lovely. Uh, for another 12 piercing. And you are now unpoisoned, and it is Corvus.
I will start with uh, getting the guy uh, who's uh, maiming Keith over there. Okay. Uh, 23 to hit. That's going to hit. Nine points of piercing, four points, uh, and one point of radiant. So ten total. Second shot. Okay. Fifteen to hit. Fifteen hits. Uh, so another ten points. And okay. third, third shot. Thirteen. Does that hit? 13 hits. Wow. 8 points of damage, and that's my turn. Okay, that one also falls into Keith on the other side. And so there's um, now there's now two four. of them generally giving him a dead hug. We got a Keith sandwich. <laughs> if you hug the paladin, bad things happen to you. Um, Elwyn, it is back to you. All right. No, but I can actually do something. I'm going to do my opposed check. I'll use my advantage. Uh, it's his turn, so I take the 21 damage now. It. I thought you said it was my turn. Oh, you're right. Never mind. You're right. You're just attacking it. Sorry, sorry. Yeah, go ahead and do the opposed. Okay. Uh, likely escaping. Uh, it got an eight. Well then, fourteen for the win. It rolled a natural two. Me too. Wow. With advantage. Wow. A one and a two. Wow, that's awful. And that yep. ended up as a fourteen for you. Yep. Wow. That's like Corvus levels of rolling. Five plus yeah, it is. four <laughs> plus. Uh, whatever from my cloak. That's pretty impressive. Anyways. There's a two from the cloak, one from the staff, something like that. Okay. Uh, anyways, I will go ahead and use some more sorcery points. Cast a spell. I should do some. How many merfolk are even left? A few. Uh, there are still one, two, three, four, five, six. Any of them standing in a line? They're all surrounding other people. So there's not any in a line. Correct. You could right. fireball the body of the dead spider. And I think that would hit all of them, plus Keith and me. That is true. It would hit that, yes. I can and take damage the ship that we care so much about. That too. I just replaced that deck. Yeah, you did. <laughs> uh, I, I think I'll play it safe and not light everything on fire with a chaos bolt. Okay. Who are you attacking? Um, I'm just going to attack the shark again because I get an advantage. Okay. 26 to hit. That hits. Um, seven. I uh, hold on. Tell you what type it is. Two and a three. We'll go with. We'll go with fire. It's, even if it has resistance, it. Loses it. All right. Is um, that the end of your turn? No, that gives uh, wild magic. Okay, wild magic it is. 74. A random creature within 60 feet of you suffers from two levels of exhaustion for 1d4 hours. Okay. So, that does that include, include your party members? Yes. It does not include me. So how many is that total? It doesn't include me. I think you hit me with it last time you had that. So one, two, three, four. I think ten. 
Don't forget one, the shark. Two, three, yeah, four, that's ten. five, six, seven, eight, and nine, how much? Ten, eleven. Oh wait, oh. doesn't include you, so ten. What so about the? What about the? Uh, not the staff, the crew. Oh, oh gosh. Yeah. Don't don't. Dude. Let's not include the crew for this in this case. <laughs> that'd I'm just be a whole gonna, lot of people. I'm gonna roll a d10, and based on your initiative, it will hit who it hits. Wait, aren't the crew on the initiative? Give them at least a spot. Oh, I'll give a spot for a crew member. Okay, but that means I roll. I got to roll a d12 and re-roll 12. No, because I'm not on it. Right, that's, I counted 11. Oh, 11. And then take you out to 10, and then add them back in is 11. Okay, fine. So a re-roll D12s, otherwise 1 through 11, Sounds is, good. is based on your initiative. So it is 5. Okay. It's a random merfolk attacking uh, Zephyrus. Is now exhausted. I don't know how to make you that it, note. You click it, and there should be a conditions thingy, and you can give it the. Uh, not in the encounter builder. Oh. Uh, I mean, it doesn't really hurt. That much. It's probably gonna probably gonna die pretty soon anyway. Yeah. Uh, exhaustion two. Exhaustion two. What does that do? Disadvantage. I'm assuming. Um, I think it doesn't want that. It has disadvantage on ability checks and speed is halved. Okay. So attacking, yeah, it's still fine. Okay. So that's that's Elwin. Elwin. That was your turn. Because yep. that was wild magic, right? Yes. Mm -hmm. All right. Now the damage to the shark. And Thomas. I'm going to cast Spirit Guardians. Okay. Nothing happens currently. But now you see... Green... Little... Fae creatures fl uh, fluttering around. In a 15-foot radius. Or, yeah, 15-foot yeah. radius. That's all. Uh, I would roll. I would. I typically the way I do spirit guardians is, when you cast it, you are able to do a round of damage. No, it says on their turn. Well, or no, it says. It typically says, when you cast this spell. Um, you can designate any number of creatures. You can right, see when the creature the enters the area for the first time on a turn. Yeah, but it's not their turn yet, so they don't take damage. Well, no, when it in, when it enters the area for the first time on a turn, or starts its turn there. So would that be hitting them the first time? So I think it hits while you cast. That's the way I read that. Okay. Then all of them have to make a saving throw. All right, what is it? 15 of wisdom. Okay. Uh, the first one saves. Not terrible. I'll take half. And the last one saves. So those who save take 8. Those who didn't take 16. Radiant mm. damage. You said take 16? Yep. Okay. Also, all the 
creatures, speed is halved. Yeah, um, that just got through. That killed three of them. No, oh, there you go. I'll take it. Yep. All right, back to the crew. Uh, this Did the is shark the... ever get its turn? Yeah. Yeah. It, it took damage. It... And it attempted to save against being grappled in the air. It did that on my turn. Yeah. Okay. It failed. Because um, I have to actually maintain it. Ah. Uh. So it's back to them. They're now aiming at the shark with the ballista. It is back to Savirus. Merfolk standing next to me? Uh, there is one left standing next to you. Yeah. Uh, is he distracted in any way? I don't know. I mean, there's spirit guardians floating around his head that's Fae. Or lions well, you know. or whatever Thomas wanted it to be. <laughs> little lions. They're little green. lion cubs. Fairy. Um, <clears throat> I will... I'm thinking like the, you know, those pink leaves that turn to the dryad. Oh, okay, yeah. Like that. I will whip out my dagger and stab with a booming blade. Okay. Uh, so this would be a dagger attack. Um, where's my dagger? I should probably equip it. That might help. There we go. Right. If I equip it, grab it, pull it out of my its holster, stab with it. Let's see. Can I get a... <clears throat> I got a natural one. Hey, fumble chart. Roll a D100. Yeah. yeah. 87. Ooh. Same gauge as Aragorn. Uh, you immediately suffer the effects of a confusion spell for one round. Oh, no. That happened to me before. Confusion. So you are now confused. Does, does that affect my concentration? Uh, let's read the confusion spell. I don't think so. It just affects what you can do. Alright, twist creature's mind, drawing delusions and provoking uncontrolled action. Uh, the affected target can't take reactions and must roll a d10 at the start of each of its turns to determine its behavior for that turn. Okay. So, I can't take actions, but I can concentrate. You are still concentrating. Yeah. Alrighty. Uh... So I guess go ahead and roll a d10. At the start of my turn. It takes the effect of it this turn. Fine. Unless you want it to be next turn. It would technically be next turn if it had. It'll be it it'll be every turn, but at the start of every turn and well, no, I it only lasts for one turn. turn. Oh, it only lasts for one turn, so I would take the effects now. Yeah. I will not move or take actions the remainder of my turn. Okay. Is that this turn or next turn? That I just be, am I would, done then? You're, you're just done then for this turn, yes. Right, so my bonus action and movement are wasted, but at least I had an action. Which yep. was wasted also with a critical one. Yeah, I feel like that would need to affect next turn. Since he already he already attacked type thing. Yeah. Yeah, but if he still had other attacks then, would he still get those other attacks then too? Because then you're taking no. two turns from him. So I'm just putting it down to one because the fumble spell was just one. Because it, yes. it does say you immediately suffer the effects of the confusion spell. True, so, but then... Uh, yeah, I'm going to... let him finish up his turn and have it take effect next turn? Nope, I'm having it immediately. Okay. I'm taking it this turn. It works. So that way he only loses the one turn and this turn's wasted. Yada yada. I'm good with it. Um, okay. 
So that was the virus. This one's attacking him. Can it make a wisdom saving throw if it's around me? Oh, yeah, you're right. Okay. Uh, uh, he fails. Okay, I guess he will take more damage. Yep. Come on, D20. Uh, another 16 damage. Okay. Well, uh, in that case, it's going to come and change its target and come after Keith. So it's going to move forward toward Keith and attack Keith. Does or it Thomas. It does. Uh, it's half, doesn't it? Yeah. It's still. It's normally thirty, so it would still have enough. Okay. Uh, okay. But Zephyrus so would get an attack of opportunity, but I don't know if you can take reactions. Because I think of, my reactions are gone this turn. Yeah. Mm -hmm. All right. So it's going to do a spell at you. Uh, make a oh. dexterity saving throw. Who? Me? No, Me. Keith or Thomas. 19. Thomas. All right, that saves. That's half damage. Uh, so 10 damage. What kind of damage? Uh, it is piercing. Okay. Okay, and it's now to the next one. If it's in within 15 feet, it makes sense. Yep, it's... Alright, uh, what was the spell save? 15. It, that one saves. So it's half damage. It takes five. It still gets his turn. Right. 23 to hit. Who, me? Yep. That hits. Alright, that's for eight damage. Okay. And the second attack was a nat one. Uh, fumble chart, he got a 50. So, anybody within 20 feet. Um, Allies of the target within 20 feet will attack you with their next turn unless they would suffer an attack of opportunity to do so. So everyone's now targeting uh, the one that just attacked. It's allies are attacking it? No, all of you guys. Allies of you are supposed to target it. Wait, that doesn't that make sense. That seems like a benefit. Yeah. Uh, well, it's called Easy Humble. Prey. So, uh, it's number 50 on the fumble chart. Ah, uh, it does. I don't I'll take so. your word. Yeah, because it said allies of the target within 20 feet will attack you with their next turn unless they would suffer an attack of opportunity. Um, all right, next one's attacking Keith, but go ahead and roll for the, or I have to roll for the save. It fails. Go ahead and roll damage. 11 damage. All right. And 16's going to miss. So then that brings it to Corvus. All right, so I've got to target this first guy. Correct. I'll shoot him. Okay. Does 11 hit? Uh, 11 does not hit. 
Shot two. 28. That hits. Don't roll damage. You killed him. Third shot. I'll go for so another there's, guy. So there's one next to the Sapphirus or one next to Keith? I'm going on uh, the Keith killing spree, so we'll, we'll go for him. Okay. 25 to hit. That hits. Seven points of damage. All right, that one is also dead. Does All that right. one attach to me too? Uh, if I have my low way, yeah. No, it attaches to the other ones, making a a like four layer sandwich. Okay. All right, it is two. Is that the end of your turn? Yep. Elwin, back to you. All right. Um, I gotta maintain my check. Okay. Twenty-seven. Uh, you still maintain it. All right. Um, um, how many pe- things are left? Basically, it's two. It was one, uh, well, sorry, one that was on Zephyrus, but is also now on Keith. I'm going to start the, li- And the giant I'm, shark. I'm going to lift it 35 feet into the air. Okay. It flies up 35 feet in the air. The shark? And then... I will telekinetically push one of the other guys left. Is there anyone near an edge I can launch him off of? Uh, yeah, let's give it a shot. All right. Strength save. Uh, it failed. All right, push it five feet. Or pull it whichever way is better. Uh, be kind of to the side. And it ends up going near the edge. Next, another hit would push it off. Okay. That's my uh, turn. Uh, on to the shark's turn. It does another save for the fear. Fan. Phantasm. Killer thing. Yes. Uh, what's that th- happens at the end of its turn. Oh, well. It yeah, can't like do anything because it's 35 feet in the air and it's a shark. Okay, it gets a saving throw. Question. Does it have the ability to breathe air and would that do damage to it? Uh, it has a constitution of 21. Therefore, it can hold its breath for five minutes. We okay. are not anywhere close to five minutes yet. Five minutes with 21? Oh, it's plus five. Plus yes. five. Yeah. So therefore, it gets one minute per plus. It should nice. be one plus the constitution, which would oh, make six. six. Oh, it could be six. Either way, five or six. six we're still six minutes. We're yeah, still yeah, only we're, on round five. We're, so we're still like thirty seconds in. Right. Yeah. Um. Yeah. It gets a wisdom five. saving throw. Uh. It got fifteen. Uh. Good. Sorry. That's a fail. It's gonna take. Oh, let me go ahead and roll it. Five d ten psychic damage. Ooh, 10, 27. That's not bad. All right, the shark is bloodied. This is the nice. spell that keeps on spelling. Uh, on to mine. Keith. <laughs> that spell's already done 50 damage, right? Uh, something like that. Maybe uh, over. Is there... I just I'm going to maintain the spirit guardians around the the one guy that's left and not attacking him, but just being within range. And I'm going to have the shark make another wisdom saving throw. Okay. Uh, you he got a seem five. To be great at those. Five? Okay, it will take... Is five not a natural one? No. Wow, it takes five radiant damage. Don't All right. Necrotic. It takes five necrotic damage. All right. Back to... Is that it for your turn? Yep. 
Back to Sapphiras. Am I still standing next to one of these Merc creatures? Nope, he left to go to Keith. Or Tom. So go. there's nobody adjacent to me? There's nobody there's left. Not. There's one merfolk that's bloodied and a giant fish flying over the boat. Kind and of off to the side. My, he is within my spirit guardians. So he will the, die. The merfolk is the within merfolk your is. spirit guardians? Yes, I made sure um, to keep within my radius. Um... Let's see, is there something that would work really well on the shark other than the Phantasmal Killer? Eldritch Blast it. Yeah, I'm probably going to go with the good old Eldritch Blast. I still have a, uh, a spell slot left, though. Uh, but who needs to... <clears throat> Alright, uh, 14 to hit. Shark. The giant shark? Yeah, that's going to miss, 14 right? hits. Oh, wow. oh. Uh, there's a 10 force damage, 4 thunder damage, 14 total. Okay. Okay. Next one. Next one is a 25 to hit. That hits. Uh, it's gonna be a full 10 plus 5 is 15 more force damage. Nice. Maximum damage. Gotta love it. All that right. hurt. What that did was, I do? How much was it? Like 30? Like, like 30 for, force was, damage? Wasn't it 29? 14 and 15? Close enough. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Um, that's that's a lot for a cantrip, guys. Uh, yes. Lizard folk, yeah. spirit Ooh. guardians. Hold, hold on. The floating shark is straight up over my head. Yes. Uh, no, it's technically it's slightly off, off, not right above the boat. Yeah, but it's not it's... off, so if it falls, it doesn't fall on us. Yeah. Um, Ed, what's your your range on your, your on that spell? Sixty feet. And how far is it away from you? Thirty-five. Can I push it back twenty more feet with my two hits? Oh yeah, you can. Should it should be close to your maximum range, but now it's not at all above the ship. It's off the port bow or whatever. It was already. Yeah, it was already nah, somewhat off. It. But it sure, already it's, wasn't. Yeah. But it's now, now it's, it's now fifty five feet away. Okay, That's that'll nice. be my turn. Uh, Spirit Guardians, you did nineteen. Was that? Uh huh. Nineteen damage. If it passes, it's half. It, it failed. It still is going to die anyway. Either way. Okay. So that so one's dead. It's just giant shark, and we're on to Corvus. Alrighty. Uh, so, let's go shooting. Okay. Let it hit Phantasmal Killer one more time, guys, please. No promises. You've already killed two. Yeah, and Thomas, you've killed like five of them. No, four. Uh, 14. Uh, to hit, yes. Okay. Ten points of damage from the first hit. Okay. Uh, the second and third hit, thirds, the third also hit. Okay. Snake eyes, so five. Okay. And then nine for the third hit. All right. And, uh, how do you want to do this? Oh, it did. So, uh, so can it die thinking that its greatest fear is what killed it? Sure, it, it probably will. Yeah, I kind of like that idea. Uh, so, kind of like the idea that it's uh, the it's been poached from the. Whaling ship. Yeah, you're shooting crossbow bolts at it, right? Mm -hmm. It totally thinks that's harpoons from the whaling ship. So, so yeah, we'll have you. You end up shooting your last crossbow bolt toward it. It, the bolt goes directly for the eye, and once it gets to the eye, it's so close that the the shark's last thought is, "Oh no, I'm gonna be eaten." As the 
the bolt looks so big in its eye, it looks like it's a harpoon boat bolt coming from the ghost ship that it imagines. And, uh, yeah, it gets stuck in the eye. So I'm now holding a dead shark above the water? You, you are now holding a dead shark above the water. It's just laying limp. And it's just limp, but still floating. Well, I might as well hold it so a certain somebody can uh, carve us up some shark meat. That is exactly what I was thinking. Uh, can you uh, maybe lift it a little closer to the ship? Yep. Why don't you do it? You're giant. I am a giant. Or did that only t last a round? How long does that last? A minute, I think. Oh, yeah. Yeah, it's By still... the time you start carving, your time will be over. Right. Yeah. How much meat do we get? I'm going to get out my dagger and start trying to carve into it, but it's skin is so thick it won't Avenger do anything. I am not using to stick it into this shark to get meat off of it. Come on, dude. It stays clean. It's a magical sword. Oh, thanks. We only have nine minutes of me being able to lift things. I could also attempt to lift that ship up. Would you be able to lift it? Actually, ship? is the ship sinking at this point? So the ship, not. the ship has started sinking because it was being lifted oh. up by the shark. So supposedly if it's an object, I can only lift a thousand pounds. It's probably more than a thousand pounds. <laughs> Just saying. Right. Um, no, we it, can... It's probably a thousand, well, not a thousand tons, but probably like 30 or 40 tons. Oh, it's... wait, what was it? And you're making me wonder if it said tons instead of pounds. It would not be a thousand tons. Pounds. Yeah, I can lift 600 pounds or a medium sized creature. You can lift a thousand or a size huge. Uh, so go ahead and roll for butchering the shark, Corvus. Well, All right. While they're playing with the shark. Guidance! Gonna... Guidance! No, it's fine. Unless he's attacking it, I don't know. No, while they're playing with shark and harvesting it, I'm going to be throwing. Uh, 20 for harvesting? Hooks onto the other ship to hold it aloft. Okay. So sink all the way. Go ahead and roll athletics to try to throw those hooks. Uh, for the 20 for the food or the meat, I would say you're able to get about... Uh, man, it weighs a, a lot. And with a 20, I'm going to say because it's right there on the ship, you were able to harvest... More I'm going to say one ton. Shoot! Wow. So two thousand pounds of of shark meat. Shark meat. Well, it looks like meat's back on the menu, boys. Thank you for that. <laughs> Better start salting it. <laughs> uh, mm, and then once shark. that's harvested, I would like to try and uh, swim over to the shipwreck. Okay. You I, I roll a twenty-two, by the way. Twenty-two. Okay. So you're able to kind of hook it um, into one of its holes. You were able to get it through and have it hook, and uh, you were. Have you tied it to anything, or you're just holding it? Well, no, I'm I'm tying it to the other end of our. Like, this is the ship. So here's our ship. That's their ship. I tied the rope to the other end of our ship. So on the far side that the ship is not facing. Okay. So what'd you like tie it to? The ship. What part? The other side of it, like a railing, a mast. Are you probably the mast? Okay. And there's not just one. There's like there's multiple at different parts too. Okay. Uh, so you you're that would take you a while to do. Oh no, you guys were carving up the shark. That's what I was doing while you guys were carving up the shark. I could have been helping you. I wasn't carving shark. Anyway, I said that I could get a dagger out. It was a joke. But. Uh, anyway, Thomas has some of that tied to the mast. Corvus, after butchering, which which that much meat is probably going to take you probably about five minutes to butcher. Wow. Wow, I'm I'm quick. <laughs> well, a I mean, ton of meat in five minutes. Well, you are a, you are a master butcher. He's getting out chunks that are like this big. Like, it's a giant shark. Like, to get 
a two thousand yeah. pounds. He probably didn't hit any bones in that whole section. Right. Because technically, this weighed close to about fifty tons. So getting one ton from fifty wasn't that hard. But I also didn't want to give you more than one ton because I don't think you're going to be able to carry one ton as it is. Not without you essentially filling up the bag of holding. Right. Well, the ship can carry it. We can't carry it. Well, right. Yeah. Give I don't me, want to give me a nice that big cart. That and, bloody uh, shark me in my bag of holding. No thanks. Uh, uh, give me a, a nice big cart and handsome Jack can pull it. Anyway, let's pick up next time with the start of uh, investigating the sinking ship and trying to save it. We'll start with that next time. Um, there potentially is going to be some conflicts in two weeks, so it looks like it'll be closer to four weeks before we potentially play, uh, but we'll put that more on the Discord as a discussion as we go forward. Uh, anything else to say, guys? I guess that's what I should have expected. Uh, please like and subscribe. Vegetables. Uh, and follow if you're on Twitch or on YouTube. And see you next time.